bitch, I'm annual flossing. VDS, yeah, I play Animal Crossing. GameCube 3DS, I ain't never been poor. Used to play Sims 4. Put a little wall around, niggas take the door off, trapping in the swimming pool. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sierra, also known as Sierra the Simmer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to recolor posters, Polaroids, whatever you want to do. So first off, you need to make sure you have Sims 4 Studio downloaded. I'll leave, I'll leave the link in the description box to download Sims 4 Studio, but this is the main thing you need in order to actually recolor the poster or sign that you want to recolor so first off once you have this app downloaded on your computer you're going to go to the folder sims 4 studio and it should be wherever you download it for instance i have it in my downloads and it should be a folder called sims 4 studio with wishes in parentheses you'll double click that and you need to make sure you scroll down to recolorables and paste whatever cc or poster that you want to recolor it has to be in this folder in order for it to show up in sims 4 studio for you to recolor it so for instance i have like some posters and rugs and a lot of paintings and canvases that i put in here because i either wanted to recolor it or plan on recoloring or have recolored it so I have a lot of posters, Polaroids, canvases, and posters in this, in rugs as well. So make sure that you either copy it from your mods folder and paste it here, or download it and drag it into this folder. It's called Recolorables, and it'll be in your Sims 4 Wishes folder. Now after you got that and it's in your folder, you need to make sure you then open up Sims 4 Studio. You can't drop it in there and have Sims 4 Studio opened at the same time. You need to have it dropped in there, then open it. So for instance, if you were to drag it into the folder while it was open, you would have to close this out then open it so it can actually be in there. So your first step will be to go to object and make sure standalone recolor is checkmark, nothing else. You're not creating a 3D mesh or overriding anything or cloning anything. You're gonna be doing a standalone recolor under object. You're gonna click on object. Make sure you name it, like put your creator name. I mean, it's my name right here, but put your name or whatever you want the name to be for creator. You're gonna click on object and it's gonna pull up all the furniture objects windows chairs that come with the game based on the packs you have but since we don't plan on recoloring any game or base game things you're going to go to content and instead of all you're going to toggle on custom and everything that you have in that recolorables folder will show up here now i have some pictures that i want to use to recolor that is also a major thing that you need to make sure you have are pictures that you want to use for your posters, canvases, rugs, or whatever, Polaroids. So make sure you have pictures, make sure you, ha sure you have Sims 4 Studio, and make sure you have all the recolored CC or whatever CC you want in your recolorables folder, basically. So I'll, I'll, these are all my uh, CC that I have in recolorables. And the CC that I'm going to recolor for the purposes of this tutorial is the um, square recolored poster that I use for other posters that I've posted um, by Bill L. Sims 4 CC. You're going to just double double click on it and then click next. And you're going to name it whatever you want. I'm going to just name it zero. That way I can just sort of remember what it's what. You're going to click enter and it's going to open that CC in Sims 4 Studio. So here's the poster. It already came with an image on it but we're gonna recolor this image with the images we have so another important step is to make sure that you have your pictures okay so I have some pictures I'm gonna be doing a sweetie inspired aesthetic vibe poster sort of deal so for this particular CC it's square shaped so I'm only gonna be able to use the square shaped pictures because if you use anything not squared shape it sort of will be distorted when you edit it so the last important thing that you need to make sure you have is either some type of edit editing software like photoshop or gimp i've never used gimp i use photoshop and i only know how to use photoshop as far as recoloring pictures so we have all these pictures right here probably gonna only show two or three of how to do it um but you need to just make sure you have Photoshop or GIMP open. I already have Photoshop. So I already saved that. 
I already saved this as zero, but the next step is to go to texture and you know, need to go to export. Import would be meaning to put a picture on there. We ain't, we ain't edit our picture yet. So we need to export this and I'm gonna name it zero as well. And it's right here. So now you need to open up Photoshop or GIMP file open you need to open the picture which i have on desktop you need to go to the zero this is the mesh and it's going to show up in photoshop like this as a square now we want to place our picture and trade it out with this basically we're going to switch it out and you need to make sure that it matches the same size so you're going to file open and my pictures are in this folder um, and we're going to start off with a square picture, which I think this one's perfect. Now, this one is a, is a little bit bigger um, than the background. So um, I just realized what I did. I opened it instead of placing it. You need to go to file, place linked, then open it so it can show up onto the picture. So right here, there we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull it so it matches it up, matches up with it. And you need to click shift and pull it so it'd be... So the width can be 1024 pixels and for the height to be 1024 pixels as well. So once it says width 1024 pixels, height 1024 pixels, you're good. And you'll let go. Essentially, it needs to match up the size. If it's any bigger or any smaller, it's not going to look right. So it needs to match. So you can hide this layer over in my layers. And now, since it already fits, it already looks good, you're going to go to File, Export, Quick Export as a PNG, and we're going to save it as 1. So we're done with our first recolor. Now I'm going to just show you how it looks on the poster in Sims 4 Studio. So in order to put it on the poster, you need to click import. You know how we exported it. Now we're going to import it. You're going to click the mesh that we just made or the recolor, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to open it and it's going to show up on the poster. It's really just that easy. So you're just going to do the same process with the other pictures. This is really trial and error. Some pictures might be distorted when you stretch it. So that's why if you have a square poster or a square canvas, make sure you have square pictures. So now we're going to do file place linked. We're going to pick another square picture. This picture is squared and it's sort of like a cartoonish sort of vibe. So I'm going to just do the same process, shift and pull it. So it's 1024 width and then 1024 height. And then it's good to go. You're just going to either like click enter or just click out of it and hide this layer. And then you're going to go to file, export, quick export as PNG and save it as two. Then you're going to go into Sims 4 Studio. You can delete these swatch colors. This is only if you want like to put a color so people can recognize what's what. Like for instance, since it's like a lot of pink in this picture, you can make the thumbnail like hot pink-ish like this. Well, not like that. Probably like that color or something. But I normally don't even do swatches because I don't really got time. Or, uh, you know, if you have time to do it, you can. But I, this is just for the purposes of the tutorial. So you're going to add a swatch so you can add the new one. You're going to import that number two. And there's the picture on the poster. Now we're going to do another one just for the purposes of the video. I'm going to place linked. And we're going to do this picture. And this one's quite big. So we're going to downsize it, move it around so it can be, again, shift hold, pull it so it's 1024 width. And as you can see, it's sort of stretched out. You just got to play with it to see if it'll look right once you pull it down. So we're going to do 1024 height and it actually looks good so we're going to do that picture and we're going to do file export quick export as png and we're going to name it number three now go back to sims 4 studio add a swatch import import that number three and bam so the last step will be me actually showing you what the posters look like after i add the, I, after i add the other swatches i'm gonna show you how it looks in the game so once you're done with all your, basically all your swatches, say for instance, if you just wanted these three swatches on your poster, you'll go to catalog, name it as whatever you want it. Like, you know, since this is a Saweetie inspired poster, you can name it like Saweetie, Ice Girl, whatever you want to name it, give it a description and then you're going to give it a price, for instance, in build and buy mode. That's how much it's going to be when people put the poster in game. You're going to like, for instance, if you wanted a dollar, you can make it a hundred dollars. You can make it a thousand dollars, whatever you want. That's what you're going to do. So after I finish doing the rest of the swatches, I'm going to show you next in the next part of the video what it looks like in game. OK, so once you have all your swatches, which these are my swatches after sizing them up in Photoshop and exporting them as PNGs and then importing them under texture 
you need to go over to file save as originally we saved it as zero we're gonna save it as whatever you want to name it so I usually save all my posters or things that I recolor or make with my name in the brackets here in the simmer and then I'll just put it what I want to name it I'm gonna name it icy girl poster so it's gonna be Sierra the Simmer Icy Girl poster as the package file when people download it. And you're just gonna save and it should say, your package has been saved. Once you see that, you'll know that everything that you've put on here is gonna be in that package file. Now when people look it up on, when people look it up in build and buy mode, it's gonna be called Icy Girl poster. So make sure whatever you name it right here, this is what people will search when they look for it in build mode. Or you know, they can, look for it in decorations or posters you can even change like the color or what it's check marked or tagged as so i did i forgot to untag yellow and pink but it doesn't really matter because you you can really just search icy girl and it'll pop up but yeah once you save it you'll just go and load up the game and go into build and buy mode but next i'm going to show you how to recolor like a collage a long poster briefly so just how i showed you how to do a square one i'm going to show you how to do a long one as well so it's going to be the similar process so since we're done with this part we can pretty much just go back to the main menu and open the long collage poster so i have a collage poster that that i've recolored before you're just going to click on whatever you want to recolor click next and you're going to save it. Normally, I save it as zero. But since I saved the other thing as zero, I'm going to just save it as zero, zero. And click save. You can honestly save it what you intend to save it as to begin with. Like how I was saving the other one as Sierra, the Simmer in brackets, Icy Girl poster. You can just go ahead and save it like that. But sometimes I just save it as zero, zero. That way, I could just save it as something else when I'm finished. But this is what the poster looks like. That we're going to recolor. You're going to get rid of anything that it came with. So uh, it can be just fresh and new. So since we don't have anything to import. We're going to export this. And we're going to name it as. You know. Zero, zero, 001. You can do it like that. This will be the mesh. So since we named this mesh zero. And this was all. These were all the pictures we put onto this mesh. We're going to name this new mesh. That's going to be the collage zero, zero, 001. And click enter. And it's going to be right here. It's going to show you it's right here. So we're going to go back to Photoshop. This was our original poster that we were working on. We're just going to open up the new mesh, which will be located in the desktop. We named it as 001. So we're going to double click it and it's going to show up like this. In Photoshop, to zoom in, you can do Control 0 to make it bigger or Control plus to make it even bigger. But we're just going to do Control 0 to sort of make it fit into this window. So we're going to file place linked. The image we want to use. The other images are located in this folder. So I have some long images. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So these will all be the ones I'm going to be using for this long ways uh, sort of poster situation. So this first one right here we're going to place. And you're going to downsize it so it fits. So you're going to line it up with this poster. Click shift. Hold down shift while you do it so it's a smooth resize you're gonna basically match it up with the poster behind it make sure it fits exactly or basically close to it you don't want it to be bigger than it or smaller than it so then you're gonna just click out of it hide the layer underneath it you're gonna do file export quick export as png and since we named this 001 we're gonna ne name the meshes we're using for that 002 Click enter to save it, and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. You're going to do import, import 002, and this is how your little mesh will look on the poster. I found that this picture worked better with a long ways one than a square one because it would have been, like, distorted if not. So now we're just going to do the rest of them, and I'm going to speed up this process so you can see it.
Once you finally get in game, this is how your posters will look. So I've already placed them with all the swatches on the wall. They come out really nice. They don't come out really um, distorted or pixelated. They actually come out pretty nice. So this is the end result after you save your package file. You put it in your mods folder. And then you search it up in build mode and place it on a wall or a room or whatever. But since this is just an example, I just showed you on this uh, random room that I just built. And these are my posters. So I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Or message me on Instagram, Tumblr, or Patreon, or send me an email. Um, I pretty much respond to everything when I have time. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.